The next movement, which I will name, explain, have demonstrated, and which you will conduct practical work on, is the hand salute. This movement is used when reporting and to render courtesy and respect to officers, the flag, and the nation. The commands for this movement are present arms and order arms. Present arms and order arms are two-part commands. Present and order being the preparatory command, and arms is a command of execution. When given, these commands are as follows. Present arms. Order arms. Demonstrator pose. I will use the talk through method of instruction. The hand salute is a one count movement. When wearing headgear with a visor with or without glasses, on the command of execution arms of present arms, raise the right hand sharply, fingers and thumb extended and joined, palm facing down, and place the tip of the right forefinger on the rim of the visor slightly to the right of the right eye. The outer edge of the hand is barely canted downward so that neither the back of the hand nor the palm is clearly visible from the front. The hand and wrist are straight, the elbow inclined slightly forward, and the upper arm is horizontal. Order arms from the hand salute is a one count movement. On the command of execution arms of order arms, return the hand sharply to the side, resuming the position of attention. Remove your headgear. When wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered, and wearing glasses, on the command of execution arms of present arms, execute the hand salute as previously described, except touch the tip of the right forefinger to that point in the glasses where the temple piece of the frame meets the right edge of the right brow. Order arms is executed as previously described. Remove your glasses. When wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered and not wearing glasses, on the command of execution arms of present arms, execute the hand salute as previously described except touch the tip of the right forefinger to the forehead near and slightly to the right of the right eyebrow. Order arms is executed as previously described. When reporting or rendering courtesy to an individual, turn the head and eyes toward the person addressed and simultaneously salute. In this situation, the actions are executed without command. The salute is initiated by the subordinate at the appropriate time and terminated upon acknowledgement. The hand salute may be executed while marching. When double timing, a soldier must come to quick time before saluting. Note, when a formation is marching at double time, only the individual in charge assumes quick time and salutes. At normal cadence, these movements would look as follows. Present arms. Order arms. Demonstrator, replace your glasses. Present arms. Order, arms. Demonstrator, replace your headgear. Present, arms. Order, arms. At A's. What are your questions pertaining to this movement when executed at normal cadence or using the talk through method of instruction? Demonstrator, attention. You will now become my assistant instructor. Follow.